why did you choose to have an operation done as a treatment for your keratoconus? Um, because I was diagnosed with keratoconus on December the 10th and I was in the Netherlands and they advised me to go to a cornea specialist and I went to a cornea specialist but it took about a month before I could go to my appointment and I was like what do I have and I went on the internet and I looked up about all this stuff about keratoconus and I found about uh, cross-linking and about uh, topo-guided cross-linking that it can correct your cornea. So I was like, well, I want to get it fixed. I don't want to stop just my progression, but I want to see better with my eyes. So that's why I chose to get go to Greece to get this done here. Okay. And why did you select laser vision, Dr. Um, I chose for laser vision because if I read all the information on the internet, I, I found about Dr. Kanalopoulos and everything you look at, like his Twitter account and like the, all the things, like the topo guided images and stuff, and you see the progress, like it becoming like better than I thought, like, well, I'm going to go for <laughs> this <laughs> procedure. And I asked my cornealogist in the Netherlands, like, <coughs> Should I get my cross-linking done for both my eyes in the Netherlands or should I go to Greece to get it done at laser vision at Dr. Kanalopoulos? And he said, um, well, you might go to Greece to get uh, at, like the, the topo guided cross-linking because it, it's a very new technique, but we don't practice it in the Netherlands because we don't have the equipment. So we do the normal cross-linking, but that just stops my progression and I chose laser vision because yeah, Dr. Kanopoulos is like the person who kind of does this from the first time, so yeah. Okay, <laughs> and how was your consultation experience with Dr. Kanopoulos? It was pretty good, yes, <laughs> yes. It, uh, like, it went really well and he um, explained to me the thickness of my cornea and he could pretty much answer every question I've got. And even though I keep coming up with new questions, he doesn't get like... Uh, annoyed with it or anything and like uh, yeah that's just great and the consultation went fine yeah and yeah I just yeah <laughs> thank you uh, what uh, preoperative information did you receive um, yeah the preoperative information I got was from Dr. Kanalopoulos and it was pretty excellent because I, I got most information that I wanted to know like I got most of my questions answered and um, yeah, sorry, I just, okay. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's skip the question, it's fine. Uh, yeah. uh, how was your experience and how long did the operation actually last? Uh, the operation was pretty quick. Um, like, I was like still figuring out what was actually happening while I was in it. I was like, okay, um, so the, here's a laser, okay, and I have to look at a green light and I looked at the green light and that was like two minutes and that was it and then I they swept me over to another table to get a uh, cross-linking done and that took about 20 minutes and then Dr. Kanoblu said like okay that was the hard part the part that only lasted like two minutes like the the, the easy part and I was like okay um, well <laughs> I found the crosslinking actually harder than that, but it was pretty smooth and quick and not much pain. No, no, no. It was a little bit painful, but it was okay. And this is my next question. Uh, did you feel pain or discomfort during the operation? Um, only a tiny bit, but it went away pretty quickly after they applied my eye drops and then it was okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm happy with that. Were you pleased with the results? Um, so far, I can slowly see some improvement in my vision, uh, but I know it takes about three months or even longer to, st to stabilize and to improve my vision. So uh, right now, I'm just happy when I look at uh, topo guided images to see the difference in the images, but the actual vision, like I can't really tell just yet if it's improved, but looking at the images that shows me something so mm -hmm. I'm happy with that so far so. Okay. 
And uh, for the end, what would you tell someone considering Athens uh, protocol treatment for keratoconus? Um, I would tell them to go here um, and to, to definitely consider going here in, in case you have keratoconus in a like and it's advanced like in, in, in my eye like I got stage 3, 4 and I can really see blurry with my bad eye and I just hope I can see clear again eventually with my left eye and my right eye like I've got okay vision so I I just I would tell someone who got like who has blurry vision to get this done because if you get this done you don't need to wear the contacts hopefully or the hard contact lenses and you can go with soft contact lenses or possibly glasses that's what I hope for instead of uh, having to wear a hard contact lens all day and that's why I had to why I wanted to go for the Athens protocol yeah so okay and that's it Walter thank you very very much you're welcome okay